product registration, sun cap, and how important it is for uh, before any product to get into the market, it must pass through, especially uh, product registration. And uh, if you're bringing goods into the country, sun cap has to you have to get that certificate because it ensures that um, the consumers are safe and um, the people bestowed with this responsibility is the standard organization of Nigeria. But today on the program, again, we'll be looking at product registration. Why is it important for you, your products to pass through all of this? And for some products that have beat the product registration process into the market, uh, we'll, need, we'll also get to find out how Sun gets to fight this kind of product out of the market. And joining me to discuss this is the head product registration engineer Joseph C. Ubaja joins me this time. Thank you for joining us on the program today, sir. Thank you. Now, let's look at product registration uh, first before we look at some other issues surrounding it. Why is it important for every product to be registered before um, uh, to get approval from standard organization before uh, it hits the final consumers? Oh, there are so many benefits that um, one can derive from registering the product one okay let's start with the fact that it's a mandatory thing is a is mandatory by the federal government that you register your products before you put them in the nigerian market after you have brought them in then there are so many benefits you derive as an importer one of them is that if your product is registered with son it protects your products from being faked because you are given a unique number and our logo. Okay. So if your product is faked, the person faking it will not have that number, number that is peculiar to your own product. So it will be very easy to fish out the fakers. Then if there are other areas um, because our logo is on your products our reputation is also at stake so if there are importers that are or some people that are doing some dubious business trying to fake your product the only slice on us to fish them out wherever they are okay. we take the battle of you then if a model maybe you are importing um, different kinds of model and a particular batch has a problem mm. we can isolate that batch with that unique number okay and rather than put the whole thing on hold we just isolate that batch with problem with that unique number okay. and allow you to sell the other ones that are okay Okay, now um, we also understand that, I mean, as much as Sun is doing a lot uh, with all, you know, the process you have mentioned, uh, I mean, Nigerian people could, uh, we are Nigerian, some people could be, could claim to be very smart. Some product that would like it or not beats this registration process uh, to the market. How do you identify this kind of product? Well, by beating registration process, you mean they are not registered? Not registered, yes. Yes, that's, uh, those ones, when you get, we have our database of products that are registered with us. And if your product isn't on the database, we have what we call market survey. Mm -hmm. We send people out, market intelligence, they go out, check out products that are not registered like i told you earlier we have the unique logo and the number that goes with every registered product mm. they are supposed to display those numbers and the logo on the primary and secondary packaging of their products like if uh, you look at this now Okay. This is an imported insecticide. You will see the SON logo and the number. Okay. So at a glance, you will know that this is registered okay. by SON. And if we don't find this on your product, if we go for the market survey, at least we begin to suspect that it might not be registered. We now get samples of it, uh, come and cross-check with our database. And if it's not there, we 
Swing into action. We have ICD department, inspectorate uh, department. They go out mm -hmm. to fish out inspectorate compliance division. They go out to fish out products that are not registered. Okay. And we test them if they are good. We we we'll ask them to register, and if they are not good, we confiscate okay. the products, we remove them from circulation. Okay. Yes. Now, finally, um, before I let you go, what are the process of, you know, take us through the process of doing of, uh, all of the registering your product? Your product. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The first process, the first thing is that you get your application, complete the application form we have a simple application form which will give you your apply that you want to register your product give us your details details of your company the address location mm. fiscal address not a PO <laughs> box where we can yeah. locate you give us the name of the contact person the telephone number and um, all the necessary details details of your products too then we look at the form, we assess the form, we look at the brands you have indicated there, we look at the models, then we do a costing for the registration. Mm. We do a costing, issue you with a demand note, which you use to pay mm. for the service, service charge, the token. You pay to the TSA, Treasury uh, Singular Account, yeah. yes, Federal Government Account. You pay and we fix an inspection. I'll send my officers to your warehouse or your or the address you have given us. One, to make sure that the company actually exists. Okay. To make sure that you are actually an importer of the product we pick our samples from the lot you have there pick our sample and send to our laboratory for analysis we bring them back send to our laboratory for analysis and if the result is okay if it passes all the mm. uh, quality parameters we issue you with a product registration certificate Yes, that's what it is. Only good products uh, would be allowed in Nigerian market. Nigerians deserve to have the very best of quality products. Um, special thanks to engineer Joseph.